All right, so last week I went to Belgium and wow, it was very humbling. Now, I am okay at riding a bike, I'm not outrageous. Um, and going to Belgium made me realize that, wow, these people are actually got big talent. So it started off, we did like a evening kind of crit thing. It was rated as a 1.12B. <clears throat> if you know what that means in Belgium, it's kind of like the way they classify their one day races. So national level race, it wasn't too hard. It was mega spiky, like the power file was just ridiculous. So many times over 900 watts, and I don't have many times over 900 watts, but we got around no stress. Um, I basically came last in the bunch sprint because I was like, I'm not, you know, I have no bunch sprint. So anyway, I was kind of like, ah, uh, it's all right, not too bad. Next day, did a crit, Kermes, so like kind of a six, seven K loop with millions of corners, like so many corners. Um, and yeah, got spat in 30 minutes, so that was oil. Uh, it was just like every corner was just so hard out of it. I was being an idiot. I did some dive bombing. Like you just, I just didn't race it well, and I was like, okay, this is this is tough. Um, then the next day, I did GP Cerami, which is a one point two. I got span like twenty k or something. That was oil again. It was just like didn't have the head for it. It was just mega uh, potholey. People punching left, right, and center. I didn't fight to get towards the front. We went on some cobbles, then we turned left went up a climb and then it just went really hard and I didn't really appreciate that that was basically like uh, a key point where I needed to be further forward but also the fact that like it was going to be uh, really hard then I just didn't know and then I was dropped and then I tried to get back on but it just didn't happen and to be honest like that was pretty embarrassing like that was not good uh, I know I'm better than that but anyway that was like wow next day did some dodgy race in the balloon got seventh in my category or something that was fine. It was like a normal race um, and not mega, mega cornery. Last day, did another Kermes. Lasted like 25 minutes. Again, spat. Was just sitting near the back. A guy let a wheel go and that was that. Uh, and it, yeah, it was just pretty like eye-opening of like how bad I am at these races. Obviously, they don't suit me. They're fan flat. And like the 1.2 just had loads of good people. It was like every dev team in the world was there and Black spoke. Uh, so yeah, obviously like it was never going to go, like half the field didn't finish. So it's not like it's bad not to finish. It was more just like, wow, uh, this kind of a racing is pretty different to what I've been doing so far this year. Um, but I think what I am going to say is like how to train for it. Maybe if people are going to Belgium, I think you should go, even if you're tiny, you just go once experience it. Cause it is wild. Like crowds are mega, you know, they close the whole street. It's like good atmosphere. I probably won't be going back to be honest. I don't think so because it was just so tough and like it's kind of like the best I think I could do is get around one of these Kermesses and I'd have to be in mega mega condition for it but I wrote a couple of things down which is I know is rogue for me but anyway so first of all cornering now they don't rail corners like oh my god I'm gonna crash but they just keep a real high speed throughout it so even if you're at the back everyone lets the wheel go everyone tail guns like well they let the wheel go they pedal real hard into it so they keep some speed and then out of it is just nails. Now, I didn't really appreciate this. I let some gaps go going, oh, just tail run, because in the UK, I normally am better at cornering than a lot of people, so I can kind of do that here, no. And it just took some while to kind of appreciate how to corner. It was just like, you really just have to stick on their wheels, make sure you carry way more speed into them. And the other issue I had was just like, out the corners, it's just so punchy. Like, it's just so hard. And then unless you're like on their wheels straight away, it's just mega tough, mainly because everyone has a better sprint there than me. So I did not find it easy out the corners. Um, obviously, staying near the front is just key. Starting at the front is useful and then trying to just stay there as long as you can. Um, starting at the front, it's not actually that competitive. Do it if you just line up a little bit early. People will let you do that. So I would recommend that. And then you just really got to have the head for it and just go, I've just got to stay at the front at all times. And it does make it easier. I think the other thing is that it doesn't slow down. It's just kind of like 45 average in almost all races um, for the... For the duration, it doesn't really get faster or slower. Sometimes it gets like maybe 47 for a lap, but most of the time it's just like 45, 46 average and you just got to hack around that. Um, the last one I said is you need a big kick. Uh, I think that just helps a lot. You don't necessarily need it if you've got big threshold and aero, it can help, but I think a big kick out the corners does definitely help. For the UCI, I mean, you just need gas, basically, is the conclusion. I don't have enough gas for this. I don't think uh, uh, like a, getting around Cerami, I just don't know if I could ever do that. Uh, probably not. Uh, and also you just have to have the head. The fight for position was pretty big. Like it wasn't, it wasn't tough. And I think the other thing with fighting for position, which I mentioned in the Kermes, a lot of that is gas. A lot of the way you move up and you'll watch it, especially in the Kermes, it's like people aren't moving up much in the corner. It's just out the corner. You'll sprint for like 20 seconds. They sprint for like 25 seconds because they got more gas than you. And it's the same in the 1.2. A lot of it is just gas. Like it gets hard. 
you know, we were doing 50k an hour on the flat. I did like 280 normalizing the wheels. Um, and it's like, obviously that is not, it's not difficult for me, but it's not like, wow, this is a walk in the park. Like I was like pretty like, Ugh. um, so yeah, you just need gas. And that kind of is, comes down to Belgium is my conclusion is that you need gas. You need to be able to corner well. I don't think it's like, it's just like cornering efficiently. It's like just saving as much energy as you can in the corners. It's not like, you know, you're on the limit of your tires thinking you're going to crash. It's just like, they're just real good at pedaling through as many, as much of the corner as possible and just not messing around. I think it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. Um, but yeah, like overall, I did kind of enjoy my trip. I did like five races, uh, DNF'd two of them, three of them, uh, got round two of them. So not a great ratio. Um, but, you know, it's good to push yourself and kind of figure out what you're doing. I don't think my form was great. I can have a slight cold, a lot of excuses, but ultimate guys come down to it. I think even in the best form of my life, it was a real struggle in these races because they're just not, um, you know, what I, what I think I'm good at at least, which is like more hilly races and, you know, less punch. But, you know, it's always good to try something new um, and see how it is. And it was a good experience just kind of seeing the whole car mass scene. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you'd enjoy this video and found it useful. And I'll see you in the next one.